Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Cyanet Television. Now we've looked at switch boxes, as you know, over the last several months and that's good because it's always nice to know how things come together and so forth. Chris, of course, is about to take apart a Whelan product, a PCC8R, I was about to say 9 actually. So it's a PCC8R and Chris is going to do it right now. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. From Whelan Engineering, we have a wonderful power distribution center switch box controller for use in your POV, emergency service vehicle, street department's vehicle, or DOT truck. Or for the avid off-roader who wants to have a nice, compact power distribution center with a clean, compact controller, PCC-8R can work absolutely wonderful for tying in and controlling auxiliary floodlights, spotlights, any products that you may have. The system itself, quite a few little pieces. The main power distribution block, wonderful product, very, very well put together. Designed for a flat mount, so you can have this on a trunk tray, side storage panel, or under the seat, front or back. Or if you have an accessory storage compartment in the back of the extended cab pickup truck or SUV, this will definitely find a nice home in there for keeping it away and nice and simple for what this product actually does for you in regards to controlling accessories tied in. Inline fuses, a total of eight, one for each of the buttons. And on this, you'll find three 20 amp switches. So if you need to have something that'll handle a good load, three switches to select from, the additional five are rated at 10 amps. So with that, a lot of flexibility for low current LED products, high current LED products, or older components, halogen and strobe alike. The box itself, multiple input points for connecting wiring harnesses. Nice thing with this is all the wiring is quick disconnect. So very easy, very straightforward when it comes to making the circuitry connections, going to the vehicle's lighting and other components, and ultimately tying them into this little guy here. To connect to the battery on the vehicle, a large lead terminal connector is included, and that's gonna snap right into the center on the PCC-8R. A side port here, an additional three wire connection, snaps into place as needed. And as you can see with that, there's only one way to put them in, so you don't have to worry about flip-flopping the connections. Ignition trigger, ground connection for the PCC-8R, and a backglow function. So you can, again, tie this into the ignition trigger on the vehicle or into the parking light circuit. And when 12 volts is applied to that, the buttons on the controller will have a nice, subtle green backglow. So easy to see when it's nighttime in the vehicle. For tying in the accessories to your eight buttons, a three-wire pigtail, again, with a quick disconnect, is included. So connect this to your grill lights, your beacon, your mini bar, your full size bar, your scene lights, or any components you may have. Also keep in mind that the buttons here could be used to connect into a auxiliary siren amplifier. So with that, you can take these wires and connect them in to the amp. Plug and play for the connections. So, as you get your accessories wired on and you're getting your switch box set up, go ahead, plug these in as needed for tying in to the buttons. And again, as you can see, very straightforward. So if you need to disconnect anything, rearrange it on the PCC-8R for the button array and what button you want to control what accessory. All you have to do is remove the harness input, switch it over to the different input post. Nice feature with the PCC-8R is below the inputs, above the fuses, there is a diode that acts as a error indicator. 
So if the PCC-8R is having any issues or the products tied to it are having any issues with their functionality, you'll get an error indicator flashing on the PCC-8R. So it'll let you go in, track which input, which product is having an issue. You can go ahead, diagnose it, and back into service it'll go. So very straightforward. You don't have to go in, open up a power distribution block, try to find where a connection got slipped or loose, where a wire may have rubbed through. All you have to do, look for the indicator on the input, and there you have it. Now for the control head itself, eight buttons. They're designed as a on-off, so a push button. On the bottom, an input for the control head extension harness. So if you were curious, how do I connect this to the PCC-8R power distribution center? Plug and play extension harness. Nice and lengthy as well. So again, if this is going in the rear trunk tray, back of the pickup truck, SUV, this is gonna be up in the sunglass cubby on the center console or up on the windshield, anywhere on the interior you may have it mounted. Extension harness connects the head up front to the power distribution in the back. Again, nice thing with the extension harness is it is a plug and play. So for the control head, snap it into place in the bottom. And on the PCC-8R, snap it into place on the power distribution block itself. As you can see, nice firm grasp. So with that, if you need to remove it, a little bit of force, let the quick disconnect pop free. But for normal day-to-day -day activities, very nice snug fit so you don't have to worry about it coming disconnected. Now for the buttons themselves, they have the green back low. Again, controlled by a 12 volt trigger wire. The buttons themselves, when activated, will have a red diode illuminate. So at a quick glance in the peripherals, you'll be able to tell what is active, what is not active. In addition to having the back low and the red indicator, the PCC-8R includes a very, very wonderful legend kit wide variety of different stickers to add on to the buttons here to let you ID what button is going to operate what function. So there you have it. A look at Whelan's PCC-8R Compact Power Distribution Center. Self-contained, troubleshooting, quick disconnects, all the plugins you need to get you started, legends for labeling, and even an additional backing mounting bracket affixes on the back of the control head to let you affix this in a flat manner. And with the controller, if flat mounting it with the additional backing bracket isn't going to work for you, Velcro, double-sided adhesive can work wonderful. Or if you look at the size of the control head, you could actually clamp it into a cell phone mount. And with that, suction cup the cell phone mount onto the windshield, onto the dashboard, clip the controller in, and position it as you needed and a very straightforward, very clean installation with the control head you'll have. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me here on Sirenet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it, the Whelan PCC-8R. It's available here on Sirenet. Check it out. If it takes your interest, you can go ahead and buy it. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching Sirenet Television.